different techniques, you know, to handle fish that I want to talk to you about. The salt family, there is close to 100. Fluke, dab, petroleum salt, lemon salt, and so forth. The dove salt, so-called, is, for me, the best. Yeah. So, just under the, the thing here, we can cut the head. And then to take the skin, you, you cannot do that with another sole. It won't do. I cut the tail like this and scrape out a little bit of the, the skin. I see it coming out. Okay, so I can grab it. And you see, that will come out quite easily. That with another sole, like a, a, a flounder, for example, that's not going to come out this way. Okay, so here, if you cook it all, we keep the white skin. At that point, you scale the white skin a little bit. Here, I'm going to do filet, so I will remove the white skin as well. You know? Again. Okay. Now, you can see the filet are here. This is bone right here. So you want to remove only the center part of it. So we start by, see I had that old knife, uh, which is called a filet of soul knife. This is carbon steel knife. Well, seen from my apprenticeship or whatever. So, you know, we would cut that here, cut that at the limit of the bone here, and then start in the center to cut it this way. So those are pretty expensive sole, you know, the, the, the double sole is expensive. So as you see the, the filet. And now this is the, the egg. And certainly if I were at home, I would cook that for my wife. It's like caviar, you know, if you want, the egg. And just saute that too. That's really good. So I have done that side, same thing on the other side, I cut here. And they are not, sometimes you don't have much raw, sometimes you have a lot of raw depending on the time of the year, where it comes from. So again, this way. This one has a lot of raw, my God, look at that. This way again. So I have four fillets, you see? And this is the bone, you know, that flat bone here, does one of the best stock, you know? So we'll do a stock with that, break it. I can't even put the head there, not the skin. And I'll put that in a little pot to do a little bit of stock to put this here. Maybe a little piece of onion, one bay leaf, a little bit of thyme leaf, we don't need any salt or anything like that, too. And contrary to a, a stock made with bone of beef and all that, it takes hours. This 15, 20 minutes of boiling, you get everything out of those bones. So put water up to here. Will you give me water there? Okay. Go ahead, pour some. All right, we'll bring that to a boil. Boil it 10, 15 minutes, and then we will strain it. I think I'm gonna cook that with it, too the roux. So does the roux change color when you cook it? Yes, slightly. It depends on the roux. Sometimes they're redder than some other time. This, the yellow one, should not change very much in color. Now, how long will that cook? If I cook it flat like this, probably a minute. If I fold it, as we often fold it in third like this, probably two, three minutes. And if I do a paupiette, a paupiette is rolling it this way you know, into a tight scroll, that will take probably four minutes, five minutes. Now you see the way I roll it is very important. That part of the flesh which is white, like this, is the part which touch the bone. That other part here under the skin are still a fiber. So when that cook is going to curl up this way, so you roll it this way. That is, if I roll that thing this way and cook it, it's going to happen. So you have to roll it this way, thick part first, thick part first to, to finish with the small one here. So I will put 
a little bit of butter in, in the skillet, you know, maybe a little bit of shallots. This would be a classic way, you know, to cook this. You, your fillet there. Here. Maybe a couple of uh, mushroom. You know, when you use mushroom like that, you look at them. If they need to be washed, you wash them. You know, a lot of people tell you not to wash mushroom. It's not a question of washing or not washing. You don't touch the mushroom. You don't wipe them up. You don't do anything until you're ready to use it. When you're ready to use it, if they are dirty, wash them, take them out, slice, and use them. It's fine. So, maybe a couple of mushrooms there. When it's ready to go into the oven, a dash of salt, you know, on this pepper. And I would usually cook that with a dash of white wine and a dash of uh, the stock that we are doing. So about three, four tablespoons of uh, wine. The same amount of stock in it, we poached it. You always poach it, covering up this way. What you do here, you butter half of a piece of paper, and you fold that, and you use that the whole evening, you know, when you do that. Now fold it in water again. See, if I work at the stove and I'm doing fish that night, I may do 10 orders during the night. I keep this, measure that to the center, about here. Okay. So yeah, this which is already all buttered out. You do this to slow the evaporation of the liquid and to surround the fish with the steam. So I have put a bit of white wine in there, put a little bit of stock later on when it's finished, cover that. When the order comes, bring that to a boil in the oven, 350 degrees, for five minutes. Okay, I think that uh, the fish is cooked now. As you can see, the popiet, so-called we call popiet, are kept exactly in shape because we roll them the right way, remember? We talked about that. For this, we want to do a little bit of a reduction here. Then I'm going to add a little bit of cream in it. In that classic cuisine, it used to be that we would reduce that a great deal so that it come to the right texture just by a reduction. Mm -hmm. But I think it's too rich, so I'd rather thicken it a little bit. This is potato starch or arrowroot. This is just mixed with water. As soon as this touches the liquid, it will thicken on contact. See that? It thickens on contact. You see, right away it's thickened. So you don't have to cook it. Then. What's the difference between that and cornstarch? Well, this is better than cornstarch. Cornstarch you use a great deal like in Chinese restaurants, and you will see it, it end up being too gooey, elastic. The potato starch is much more delicate. It's like arrowroot, but arrowroot costs a great fortune. And that's it. Now we can finish it up with a little bit of tarragon would go well with it, and a bit of an anise flavor, you know. The tarragon. Tarragon is done a great deal in, you know, French cooking. So this is a very classic type of dish in the area. But as you see, people will always say, this is not that rich. I have maybe a tablespoon and a half of cream per person, which is less than a tablespoon of butter, less than half a tablespoon of oil, frankly. And the fish, you have to taste it. See, the fish is nicely rolled now, and it doesn't, and it's stale. You should taste that with a spoon, so you can get some of the juice here. And this is a classic fillet of salt with cream and white wine.